All right, what's up, Fishaholics? Chris J here, Fishaholic Fishing, and uh, today I just jumped in the car. It's 4 a.m., and I'm going fishing, ice fishing, with my buddy Josh up in New Hampshire to a lake that I've never been to before called Lake Massasacum. I think I'm pronouncing it right. I'm not really sure, but um, this is Josh's first time going ice fishing, and like I said, it's 4 a.m., so what's going through your mind right now? Do you think it's worth it right now, or like, how you feeling? I mean, it's way too early for my body to function, but hopefully it pays out pays off when I get to the lake. All right guys, made it to New Hampshire. It's about a three hour drive. You know, three hour drive for a day of fishing is, is about my max. You know, I won't drive any further, you know, to fish only for a day. About seven degrees out here. I'm at the tackle shop. I'm gonna get some bait and then uh, we're gonna hit the lake. All right, first of all, it's made it to Lake Massasecum. And uh, I'm actually pronouncing it right now because I asked the uh, tackle shop owner how to say it. Uh, it's a tricky name, tricky name. But um, yeah, Lake Massasecum. You know, looks like a pretty good lake. You know, all I really know about this lake is I know the species that are in the lake. My target species are gonna be yellow perch, crappy, pickerel, and largemouth bass. Maybe even smallmouth bass, because there's also some smallmouth in here. But uh, for the most part, just those other four species. And uh, I have my GPS, so I at least have the lake maps. So I'm gonna use that as a tool to uh, hopefully put myself on some fish. All right, so I set Josh up a rod here, just you know, using four pound test fluorocarbon, 24 inch ice rod here, real sensitive tip. And then I have a spring bobber on it, so that'll help him you know, figure out when he has a bite. All right, so this is your, rod, your hole right here and your rod. This is, how, this is how I like to let it down to the bottom. And you know when it's on the bottom when, I'll show you in a second, it's in the line broke. This is a good way to Test your line strength also. <laughs> That's a fish. I don't know where the heck's our... Oh, there's too much line reeled up. There's our jig. Hold it. You're like right on top of him. He's looking right at it. Come on, buddy, hit it. He's on there. He is? He's real. What are you doing? Real. I told you, I, told, I knew he was on there, you didn't. Oh my oh. gosh. That is a giant blue kill right there. That is a giant one. Uh, the fish is as big as my hand. And you still got more fish down there, so you want to get that right back down there. Yeah, he's, he's there, he's on. Real, real, real. It's a good fish. Good fish. Oh my gosh, that is another giant blue kill right there. These gills are playing hard to get, but... <laughs> the, that's like an easy seven, eight inch gill right there. Beautiful fish. Wanna throw him back? There you go, good <laughs> shot. Nice. Really nice fish, keep keep going. Really nice fish. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Keep, reel, reel, reel. When, it, when the rod tip goes up, reel. Nice and easy, keep going. Oh gosh, he's in the weeds. He's in the weeds. That's why he's so heavy. Stop reeling. Yeah. Whoa! Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. He's like tail wrapped or something. That is a oh. big body. Oh my god. That is a big body. Look at this. This is the only reason why you caught that fish right there. Look at this. See his teeth? See his teeth? Yeah. And look at this. Josh hooked this pickerel, guys, right on the nose. <laughs> right on the nose. I'm nice. He's, he, he, you only have four pound test. They can cut four pound tests like that. I felt like he was gonna break off. That's a that's a nice pickerel. And we've only we only started jigging 
How long have you been jigging for? Like 10 minutes. 10 maybe. minutes? This is crazy. And it's so weird because I have three tip ups up or out with shiners on them. And we haven't had like, you know, we had like one, maybe one bite. All right, I finally started fishing. Oh, we got a flag. I literally just started fishing and we got a flag. Oh my gosh. Hopefully this is a fish here and not a false flag. Oh, it's definitely a fish. I can feel him on there. Oh. oh baby. Wow. That's a freaking monster right there, guys. First, first tip up fish right there. There he goes. <laughs> All right, finally now I'm set up, I'm jigging. Jigging with a little forage minnow. Today's like a perfect day out here because there's no wind. It's sunny, not a cloud in the sky. Go. Oh, fly. shit. We got another flag. I bet I can slide farther. Woo! Look at that. Whoa, this fish is running. This fish is going off. This fish is going crazy. It's good fish right here. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Look at the size of that bass. Oh my God. That is a giant right there. Oh my gosh. Look at the size of that pig right there. Woo. That's like an easy, you know, three, three and a half pounder right there. Not like, you know, it's not like super big, but for my first bass out of a lake I've never been to before, that's like a freaking toad right there. Really chunky and healthy, beautiful fish, beautiful fish. All right, let's see if this hole can give up another fish. Throw one like right where that scooper, uh, the scooper, uh, the yellow scooper is. Look, I got a fish out coming up for it already. Yeah, these are all like real tiny perch probably. Another one, another one coming up for it. There he is, got him, got him. Giant, look at that one. That's an absolute toad right there. I'm actually gonna throw this guy in the bucket for bait. Oh, flag. Flag is, oh my gosh. All right, Josh, you're gonna get this one, right? I'm hoping it's not a false flag, but. He could just be sitting there though, it could be a little guy. Oh, it's a fish, yeah. Yeah. Pull him. Feel him? Yeah. Yep. If he's pulling hard, just let him run. Let the line slip through your fingers. Oh, baby. That's a nice bass. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> That's a giant. That's almost a four pounder. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Look at the size of that bass. This one's a little bit more beat up, but oh my gosh. Freaking giant right there, giant fish. I'm just gonna get a measurement on him, see how long he is. Definitely a little bigger than the last one, but. I'm going to measure the line once I get back to the sled I have a ruler but I can guarantee you that's an easy like 17 inch 18 inch largemouth right there right, let's get a nice healthy release on this big girl there she goes this flag here keeps going off and I look down the hole and I have a small pickerel checking out the shiner so I'm gonna try and bring up the shiner and uh, try and get this get this fish on the jigging rod. Okay. 
He's looking at it. No way. I can see him down there looking at the jig. He's a little guy, little pickerel. That's why this flag kept going off. There he is. Got him. Boom, baby. That was literally sight fishing through the ice. All right, guys, so we're kind of exploring a little bit. Like I said, I've never been to this lake before, and so far, you know, the fishing has been phenomenal. You know, to catch two decent sized bass, catch, you know, a nice sized pickerel, catch some big gills. You know, today's definitely been a great day so far. But uh, we really haven't caught too many fish jigging, obviously. Like, you know, J Josh caught three, like, right off the bat, and then it just seems like the jigging action slowed down a lot. And then, you know, I got a couple small perch, and, you know, I got that one little pickerel that, you know, I saw him down through the hole. But uh, we came up into this cove here, and it looks like around the edges it's only about, you know, five feet. But right here where I'm standing, it drops off to ten feet. So this might be a basin area. And a lot of times, you know, crappy bluegill, panfish, they'll come down into this basin area and hang out, and even bass and pickerel. And uh, this would be a magnet for fish. I'm going to drill a hole here and, you know, hopefully uh, check out the bottom, see what, we, see what kind of, uh, you know, stuff we got here. I oh, just saw a fish. There he is. Monster. Oh! I mean, that's a little bit of an upgrade of a perch. Not a jumbo perch, but I mean, no, we could eat. We could eat one like a little bit bigger. Yeah. yeah, that one there was like eight inches. Like a ten incher is like good. There he is. Whoa. I mean, bigger than my first two, but still a little guy. Got him. It's been like almost an hour since we had our first. Oh my gosh! Oh, that's the perch we've been looking for. That is a chubbo right there. This is this is good eating right there. Jumbo perch. Finally, I caught some dinks out out in like the main lake area in like 16 feet of water. Then we caught you know some up in the cove, but nothing even close to this size. It's a nice fish. You want to keep him for dinner? Or? I don't know. I will throw him back. It's just easier. Woo! Feels like a pretty heavy fish. There you go, you'll, you'll get it, buddy. All right, guys, so the fishing has obviously been like pretty phenomenal. At a lake that we've never been to before, Josh's first time ever ice fishing. You know, the flags the last like 30, 40 minutes have been going off like crazy. You know, one flag goes off, then you get another bite on another flag. And uh, right now we're on our last four baits. You know, we got three tip ups out and then we got one jigging rod with a uh, shiner on it and uh, yeah that, you know we're probably just gonna fish until all our baits are gone and then or or until it, you know or until that sun probably goes down below the trees and uh probably get out of here but so far it's been a phenomenal day i mean unbelievable oh gosh fish on is it on Damn, he's big, on big boy angle it up a little bit oh there he is flag is up flag is up you can get him if you want. Get him. <laughs> Where are you going? Come on. I'm going. Remember to grab the line, like when you lift up the tip up. He's probably just holding it there. Got him? There you go. Oh. Oh my gosh. Look at the size of that perch.
That's a jumbo right there. That is a jumbo perch. Boom. Want a, want a picture with him? No, he's bleeding. All right, throw him back. That's the one you want to eat though, right there. Oh shoot. All right guys, well, we packed it up, we're heading out. And today was definitely a phenomenal day on a lake that we've never been to up here in New Hampshire. This is only my second time ever ice fishing New Hampshire. Caught some big largemouth bass, caught a couple decent sized pickerel and you know, a lot of small pickerel. And then caught two nice jumbo perch. The only fish that we didn't catch were you know, some jumbo crappie and uh, you know, some smallmouth bass, which are also in this lake. But uh, definitely a great day. And uh, if you guys want to see more ice fishing videos, post that in the comment section. Let me know because I want to, I want to know if it's worth me making you know, an ice fishing video if you guys um, you know, are into that kind of thing. Because you know, most, of, most of my subscribers are always, want to, always want to see striped bass and surf casting videos. But uh, anyways, if you like today's video, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, how, how was today? Awesome. Awesome. Josh had a good time. We're going to get out of here, go back to Cape Cod. Thanks for watching, and never forget, live, live to fish, fish, fish to, to live. live.